Hey everyone, it's the final day of our seven day ab challenge. Congratulations to all of you that have made it this far. Fantastic work. Today is gonna to be the hardest one. We're going out of a bang. We're gonna be taking the two hardest exercises of the previous six days and putting them into one workout today. Okay, so we're gonna be doing 12 exercises in total. We're gonna to be doing 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off. So I will just refresh your memory of those exercises as we're going along in the break, all right? Um, if you are new, then make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any workouts, any challenges like this one. Also, a thumbs up would be very much appreciated, okay? So once you've done that, uh, then grab yourself some water, get yourself warmed up, and then we'll dive straight in. Final day, let's do it, day number seven. So on final day of our abs challenge, we're going out with a bang. We're going to start off with going right back to the very start. Double crunches, such every exercise, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Different variations as we go along. Double crunches, hands by our head, and crunching up with our knees at the same time. All right, let's do it. Day number seven, last one. So 45 seconds, let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one, off we go. So, double crunches, okay? So your shoulders are coming up. You can even put your hands behind your head if you feel like your neck's gonna start hurting, okay? Crunching up and forwards. Main thing with your crunches, you're not just trying to tip your head forward like this. You're actually trying to get your shoulders up off the floor. If this one's too hard, then you can leave your feet on the ground and just use your shoulders instead. So they're your options, all right? Got 10 seconds to go. That's it, good here, man. Keep working. Again, yeah. Double crunch. Three, two, one, and relax. Bicycle crunch is next. So opposite elbow to opposite knee, and the other leg extends out, all right? Again, nice few variations, right? Three, two, one, let's go. So opposite elbow, opposite knee, shoulders up, off the floor. Variation on this one. You can just leave the knees where they are, okay? And go opposite elbow, opposite knee. It's totally up to you, you don't have to extend that other leg out, yeah? Again, support your head, support your neck. It's not your neck that should be coming up. It's your shoulders getting up off the floor and reaching that knee. We've got 10 seconds to go. Keep working, doing well. Good, and three, two, one. Good, now relax. Right, plank jacks, next one. So we're down our plank, both feet out, both feet in, all right? So both feet out, both feet in, down our plank. Ready, three, two, one, let's do it. So both feet come out, both feet come in, and we're hopping. A few variations on this one. You can either tap, out to the side, one after the other, or come up into a push-up, and then do the plank jacks up here, like we did yesterday, okay? So, totally up to you. Wherever you wanna be, I'll leave that one down to you. That's it. It's your call, just keep working. Keep putting in the last day, guys, last day. Done well, good. Okay, and three, two, one, and relax, nice, okay. Plank hand taps, next. So we're down that plank, reaching out in front of us, tapping forward with our hands, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. So tapping forwards with our hands. A few variations on this one, if you're really struggling, just hold a normal plank. If not, you can drop onto your knees here, okay, bang. Drop out in front, or up in the push-up, and then put the hand forward, okay? It's up to you, any variation is good, any variation works, it's better than stopping, okay? Sit nice, keep working, got this. 
bang. Okay, uh, three, two, one, and relax, good. Right side, crunch, plank crunch next. So we're back like this, opposite elbow, opposite knee, okay? Working the obliques, ready? Three, two, and one. So that back leg comes forward, we crunch in. Okay, key with this one, keeping the hips up here, nice and high, yeah? You don't want to be dropping down on the floor doing this. Hips up, yeah? If this one's too hard, you can either side plank here, or come up onto your hand and hold a side plank here, yeah? So it's totally up to you, whichever variation you want. Just keep it going. Nice, 10 seconds. Keep working, keep pushing it. Nearly there. And three, two, one, and relax. You can guess what the next one's gonna be. Same thing, other side, okay? Same thing, other side, on that left side, all right? Again, I'll run you through the variations. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So, opposite knee, the back knee, Push the floor, comes through. Again, your options, either that or we do a side plank like this, or move up onto our hand, hold the side plank. The key with all of them is that this hip is up to the ceiling, okay? Let's go. Back, crunching in. Keep it going. Good, nice. Keep working, just keep going. Keep putting it in. Hips up high, crunching in. Three, two, one, and relax. Spot on. We're going for the next flat kicks. All right. So down on the floor, and one foot just above the other. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So flat kicks here, a few variations. You can work your way up to 45 degrees. You can come all the way up, up here, or come onto your elbows and flip a kick here, all right? It's totally up to you. This one's probably the easiest, followed by this one, down to this one, okay? This one being the hardest. Make sure on all of them, you've got your shoulders up off the floor, okay? 10 seconds, keep working, doing well, nice, and three, two, one, and relax, good, right, so those alternating leg raises next, so shoulders up, one leg comes up, bang, we swap it with the other one, okay, three, two, one, let's go, so alternating leg raises, if you're like me and struggle with the flexibility, you don't have to get your leg up here, okay? You can leave it there, that's fine. As long as you've got your shoulders up, if your head starts hurting, pop a hand behind your head. To make this one easier, after each one, you can put your foot down on the floor, okay? So we're down the floor, one foot stays on the ground, other leg goes up. They are your options, all right? Ooh, keep it going. Doing well. Last day, smashing it. Good. Nice. And three, two, one, and relax. Okay. Dead bugs next on the right hand side. So our right leg sticks out, right hand up in the air, left leg up at 90 degrees, left hand over our head. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So, wrap off the floor, yeah? Couple of variations in this one. Put, pop your foot down, so that's just staying there, okay? All right, if that's too much, you can just drop your head onto the floor as well. All right, so you're here and here. Yeah, so foot's actually on the ground. If you wanna make it harder, of course, just lift the foot up in the air, okay? Oh, doing well, everyone. Just hold this position, don't move it. Got 10 seconds to go. 
hold it and relax. You got this. Okay, three, two, one, and relax. So again, you can probably guess. Next one, opposite side, left leg out, left arm up, right leg, 90 degrees, right hand over your head. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Four, got this, doing well. Same as before, if you're struggling, drop that foot on the ground, yeah? Totally up to you. You can always use it as a bit of a break, so rather than stopping completely, drop that foot down for five seconds, pop it up, okay? Drop it down five seconds, pop it up. It's up to you, but just hold this position, yeah? That's it, good. Keep working, keep going. Remember to breathe. Try and get the lactic acid back out. Be there. And three, two, one, and relax. Good, everyone. Okay, toe taps, next. So body 45 degrees, tap in, toes together, okay? Again, there's quite a few different variations, I'll show you them as we go along. Three, two, one, let's go. So, toe tapping, body 45 degrees, tap the feet together, again, if you can't straighten your leg out, again, now I've got a bit of flexibility issues going on, you don't have to, your variations are dropping right back, onto the floor, tapping your feet together, even higher up, or a bit like our flutter kicks, drop onto your elbows and toe tap together, okay? So they are your options. We've got 10 seconds left. We've got one more off this. Doing well, man, you're on fire. Good, three, two, one. Ooh. And relax, right, last one. Heel taps, down on the floor, heels flat on the ground, crunching up, tapping those heels, okay? Are we ready? Three, two, one, last one. Let's do it, crunch up, last bit. If this one's too difficult, feet in, okay? Too easy, feet out, that's it. At any point you're really struggling with your head, hand behind the head and try and crank out as many reps as we can. This is our last exercise, last one of our seven day challenge. You've done so well. Come on, you got this. 10 seconds. Keep going. Keep working. You got this. Crunch up. Oh, let's go. That's a bit. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Woo! Ah, relax. Good, everyone. Fantastic. Grab yourself a drink. Oh, wow, well, nailed it. Very well done, guys. That's it. You've completed it. Seven hand workouts in seven days. They were so tough. If you did enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button on this one. Okay, if you haven't already, I don't know why you wouldn't have, but make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any workout challenges like this one, okay? And then your extra challenge, if you want to, go back around the day number one and do this for two, three, four weeks, however long, okay? If not, very well done, guys. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video.